All right, this video is to show what I didn't show in class on Wednesday, which is how to use multiple regression with Excel 2010. My computer at home has the correct in, uh, add in. Don't know why it didn't work with my uh, notebook, but I'm trying to figure that out now. But in the meanwhile, let me show you this. First of all, um, I have data from homework number eight you see up here in the corner and what I did is I put together the teams I used the MBA stats that we had we have the teams the number of wins but this time I used two independent variables together the net turnover and the defensive yards per game so I have them both together the wins is going to represent the independent variable net turnover and defensive yards per game is the second independent variable what you would do is you would go to data and you'll see data analysis now to get that what I did before and again I don't know why it didn't work with my notebook but I'm going to reinstall Excel to find out but I clicked hit all um, add-ins I went to whoops let me do that again uh, file options add add-ins and I selected analysis tool pack not analysis tool pack VBA but just analysis tool pack that installed and that created this option under data called data analysis so I click on data analysis I look for regression and then I just put in, okay, let's do the Y range first, which is the dependent variable. And then I'm going to put the two independent variables. I am going to leave everything else. I'm going to put it into a new worksheet. I could put it on the same worksheet. I'm going to put it into a new one and we'll label it called results. I could put it into a new workbook. I'm not going to do that. And then I can put in residuals, a line fit, residual plots, I, all that. But uh, we'll use, let you use that when you get into your uh, statistics or economics or decision science class. Right now, let's just leave that alone. Click OK. And here are your results. There's a video that, and, and uh, there's also on our blog, there is a link to a uh, website that discusses all of these variables. The only ones that I'm interested in for the standpoint of um, the homework today that we want to understand is the multiple R, the R squared, a standard error. We see observations. We had 32 of them, remember, because we had 32 teams. And then we have our Y-intercept, and we have the coefficients or the slope or B, whatever we want to call it, for variable X1 and variable X2. And notice I have a new tab here called results. If we go back to MBA, net turnover is going to be X1 and defensive yards per game is X2. So let's go back to results. And if we look, we're going to have a formula. Remember the formula that Y equals in this case it's going to be b1 times x1 let's put those in quotes plus b2 times x2 plus a or whatever variable depends on how you're using it um, I use a and so 
the intercept represents A. So basically we're saying Y equals and B1 is 0.17X plus and it's really not plus, it's minus 0 0.02 X2. Let me put X1 here plus 16.999 or almost 17. And we use plus because we have a plus here. So that would be the formula where if I asked you a question um, that I want to solve for how many wins a team could have given the fact that x equals, let's see, the first x is net turnovers. So uh, let's say x equals 10. So they have a positive net turnover. And then yards per game, 200, which would be a really good team. Right? Nobody here. I mean, Denver's at 290. Baltimore, who won the Super Bowl, is at 350. So there's nobody at 200. San Francisco, which was runner-up, was at 294. So let's make it instead of 200. That's too low. That's outside the range. Let's make it 300. So y equals uh, 0.17 times 10. And for B2, it's going to be negative 0.02 times X2. Whoops. My fault, X2. X1. Three hundred plus sixteen point nine nine, and if you want to add the other nine, so now let's really solve this. Put an equal sign. We know that uh, point one seven times ten is one point seven. That's a negative number. Point uh, oh two is going to be six plus 16.99. So they would have 12.69 wins. Now, of course, you don't have 6.9 wins. So basically, this would be a 13-win team. And that's how you would solve it. The R squared and R talks about the relationship between those two variables. It's uh, you know, somewhat strong, not really strong. Uh, the observation error, standard error, talks, which talks about the distance between the variables, the average distance between the variables and the best fit line. And uh, again, we could relate this to something else, but it's, there is a relationship. It is positive, except it looks like variable two which talks about defense is a negative number as it once it relates to the giveaway takeaway. So that's how you would do the uh, different data that we're going to that I'm going to give you for your assignments. I'll probably ask you what your multiple R is or your R square might be, what your intercept, what your two slopes or uh, variables are, the coefficients. And I might ask you to do this, in which you know, I need you to solve using the formula, 
based on this information is to solve and determine a why. All right. Thank you very much for listening and good luck.